U.S. intelligence officials are warning about a significant increase in potential threats against the U.S. FBI Director Christopher Wray says among the biggest concerns, known or suspected terrorists using fake IDs after crossing the southern border. Correspondent Ali Bradley is live near the border in Eagle Pass. So, Ali, how big of a problem is this? Well, Nicole, obviously the crisis at the southern border, it's complex and it's more complex than just people walking across the southern border. It's the individuals that are coming over and they aim to break the rules or have an intent to do us harm. That really has law enforcement concerned right now. The FBI acknowledging that publicly, warning the nation that there is an imminent threat coming in each and every day. Now, what's worse here as well is that the documents that they're providing aren't necessarily viable. They're using those documents after they're processed and released, and validating these documents is nearly impossible in many cases because we cannot vet people if we don't communicate well or have a relationship with their home country. Then those same documents are what are being used to fly them across the country. While Americans go through that TSA shakedown, the southern border rolls out the red carpet. We have seen migrants cross the border one day and just a few days later, ready to fly to their destinations. Some of their airports that migrants are flying into and out of even have special lines for migrants, according to former HSI special agent Victor Avila. Now, this all comes as ICE picked up a man from Brazil. He overstayed his visa by about a year after entering in March of 2022. So get this, Brazilian authorities, they have been trying to catch him since June of 2022 for statutory rape. Now, while he wasn't using a fake ID, he was wanted by the Brazilian government, but the alert came after he entered our country. So another issue there. Sources say many migrants move to countries like Brazil. They establish a life there, and then they move here, claiming that that is their country of origin. Or worse, the migrants leave their documents behind and just start a whole new life. This is video from Arizona where we saw scattered doc documents from all over the world. But here's the big difference now, Ali, is that they're, they're infiltrating us within these groups that are turning themselves in because a lot of them have been in Mexico for a while. They learn to speak Spanish. They shave their beards. They look like a, possibly a Mexican national, a Central American, and they have fake documents. I know you want to talk about that. And so they present these fake documents and enter with a different nationality. And that to me, is just it, it just gives me chills to think of the national security implications that we're facing and that we possibly will face in the near future. Now, something we really want to under, uh, understand here is that the United States does not have sound, stable relationships with the nearly 170 countries that have been represented at our southern border. And many of them are third world countries and they don't even keep adequate databases. This as repatriation flights to Venezuela continue to be halted and the ones in Haiti are being threatened right now due to the unrest. And Nicole, News Nation has covered this document issue extensively. And it's really important to remind our viewers here that the United States does not have access to a lot of these databases. So if these individuals come across and they do not flag in our systems, they haven't committed a crime here, and they're not flagging in a federal database like Interpol, we would not know their criminal history. They are who they say they are. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.